The longer you coach, you can fall in the trap of just making things easy because you just want the approval and you don't want to deal with the, I don't want to do this coach. But you also miss the opportunity where they can do it. And when I think back to that 2002 team, I didn't set up a drill to make it just impossible. I knew they could do it and we did do it. We got home and we ate dinner. But that's the thing is like you want them to go deeper than they thought they could go. Yeah and realize, oh wow, I can really do that? Mm -hmm. And I think that's easier for some sports than others, whether it be, and I can't really say this because I've never been a you know, track coach or a strength and conditioning coach, but I've, I've observed and I've been a part of it where you can push someone in the weight room a little easier where they have to dig so deep and they get that one last push up out and then they go, wow, gosh, I did it. In golf, it's a little harder yeah. because it's not you're not trying to uh, exhaust muscles or you're not trying to push all the way to the red zone on your heart rate. It's more you're trying to get to a place mentally that's very, very difficult. That is much tougher than it is just on a physical push you past the red line and then you come back. Mm -hmm. So uh, finding that sweet spot, I, I think, is the key, something I've developed, and I think that's what the best coaches do is they, they navigate hour to hour within a practice day to day, mm -hmm. year to year with your squad.